Hi everybody, it's me, Gypsy, from Smallwood Homestead. And you know how they say life happens while you're making other plans? Well, that has certainly proved to be true for me this winter. Some of you may know, those of you who follow me, that I have been fighting with my health since Halloween the end of October of 2019. Since that time, I have been diagnosed with two sinus infections, two cases of bronchitis, an upper respiratory infection, asthma, allergies, RSV, which is a virus that normally strikes babies and toddlers, not adults. And now that it is January 10th, 2020, I have pneumonia. And I'm not in the hospital, as you can see, because I talked my doctor into letting me stay home. Because if you watch the beginning of this vlog, you will see I have a nebulizer machine with which to do my breathing treatments. And I also have a blood pressure machine to keep my blood pressure in check. And I have all the medications, the antibiotics and the steroids and the inhalers and the antihistamines and the cough syrup and the pain relievers that they would give me in the hospital. And at least while I'm at home, I can be in the comfort of my own home with my animals. And my son comes and checks on me every other day and makes sure that I'm still doing all right. I apologize if this video is shaky. My hands are very shaky. I am weak because I've literally been sick for two and a half months straight, <laughs> pretty much straight. I'm currently not working. I'm still waiting on the decision regarding my disability application. I have a psych evaluation on January 15th, and I'm hoping that shortly after that, I will find out whether or not I've been approved. As you can see, I do still have some trouble breathing. I literally have not gone out of my house in over a week. I've stayed right here on my couch or in my bed. I had big plans for my channel. <clears throat> Pardon me. I had big plans for my channel for 2020. And now the universe is saying, you know what? Maybe you should focus on your health a little bit step back and take a break. I'm not very good at listening to the universe, but I have to, if I'm going to get well. I'm really sick this time. I haven't been this sick in six years. As a matter of fact, it was this time of year, six years ago, that I ended up in the ICU in an oxygen tent for two weeks with pneumonia. I'm trying to avoid that again. I hope all of you have had a wonderful new year and holidays if you celebrated. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere and have the cold. I hope that you're taking care of yourself. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and have the warmth, I hope you're taking care of yourself. I've been very lucky to have friends and family to come and provide support for me at this time. I am so thankful. I really am. Because literally right now, I can't do a lot. Oh, and I'm shaking again. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to shake. I really am, but it's hard. 
I get very breathless and winded. Um, they did take me off of my blood pressure medication because I was passing out in my home. And for those of you that don't know, I live by myself. I live alone with four cats. And I was getting really dizzy, I noticed. And then I would notice that I would have bruises that I couldn't explain. So I'm pretty sure I was passing out. I'm pretty sure I was fainting. Um, I had a bruise on my head at one point, and I couldn't explain it. And when I went to my doctor, my blood pressure was uh, 92 over 50, which is extremely low. I mean, that is almost comatose. If you hit 80 over 50, you're about to pass out, basically. So that's why I have to keep on top of my blood pressure. Um, because if it starts getting high again, I have to start back on my blood pressure medication. But all this week, nope, it's been really low. It's been staying really low. It would be nice if I could permanently get off the blood pressure medication. I've lost 30 pounds, so I'm hoping that has helped. Um, but I won't know for sure until after I'm fully healthy. Um... My doctor did tell me it could take months before I'm back at 100%. Um, my lungs have a lot of scar tissue because I, this is the sixth time in 10 years that I have had pneumonia. And that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, so I have a lot of scar tissue on my lungs now. <clears throat> I'm not a smoker. No one in my house smokes. I don't let anyone smoke around me. So it's just from having the pneumonia so often. Um, my doctor is sending me to an immunologist in March to see if there's anything that can be done to boost my immune system. Because I am allergic to the flu vaccine, I am allergic to the pneumonia vaccine, and there is only two antibiotics that I can take without having an allergic reaction. Yeah, <laughs> so when I get something like pneumonia, it's bad. <laughs> it takes a long time to get over um, you can probably tell I'm very pale <laughs> right now. Um, please forgive the way I look. But I noticed that it has been so long since I shared anything with you all. And honestly, I have not been able to make any new videos. I've not been able to go anywhere. I mean, I've had friends bringing me groceries and meals. Um, my son has been taking care of my cats. My daughter, because she has my grandsons, um, and those of you who don't know, my oldest grandson is three and a half. My youngest grandson is almost two, and my youngest grandson is a special needs child. So um, my daughter has to stay home with them. She's a stay-at-home mom, but she's been texting and calling me to check up on me, make sure I'm okay, make sure I don't need anything. Um, I've had other friends that have been texting and calling to make sure that I'm okay and that I don't need anything. Um, I'm sorry. I'm starting to get winded now, so I probably ought to end this here before I start coughing again. I can't remember what I was going to say. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. I appreciate them. I'm really sorry that I've let you guys down with my channel. I, like I said, I had, I have a notebook full of ideas for videos. I just don't know when I can do them. I was thinking I would try to maybe take some cute videos of my cats and upload those just 
just so that you guys have some nice content to look at on my channel because I feel so bad that I've I've let you guys down. I'm really sorry. I really am. It's a cold rainy day today. Actually, it's not really cold. It's just rainy and they're calling for tornadoes in January. I'm going to I'm going to end this here and try to get this uploaded today. Thank you guys for everything. And uh, if you'd like to send me a postcard, um, just send me a comment below and I will give you my mailing address. <sighs> Thanks guys. Many blessings to you. Namaste. Have a great day. Bye.